say you're thinking about moving to Charlotte, North Carolina, but you're looking for an area that's trendy, full of character, different, charming, and super, super walkable, well, I'm in one of those areas right now. Stick around so you can find out exactly what part of Charlotte I'm in. Let's go. first time to the channel my name is Yadi Karina Jones and I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Select here in Charlotte and the surrounding cities if you're looking to make a move to the Queen City I'd love to connect with you feel free to reach out to me using any of the contact information below now let's check out Plaza Midwood I'm currently walking through Plaza Midwood which is a really really trendy and eclectic area not too far from uptown Charlotte I happen to be in the historic part of Plaza Midwood so I wanted to show you this right behind me so this is a new build I'm on the plaza and I'm going to show you what the plaza looks like but this build behind me is happening and it's by Copper Builders now they are going to have to adhere to landmark rules because this is a historic part of Plaza Midwood all right let's keep going so right here we're walking along the plaza it's a pretty long road and it's met by this meridian in the middle which separates both sides you're going to see different types of homes here a lot of them are very very um, old in the sense of that they were built in the early 1900s but they're super beautiful they're full of charm and character and that's one of the things that makes this area really really popular and desirable now you would typically think that you can only find Victorian homes in an area like Savannah, which is about four hours from Charlotte, or an area like Charleston, which is about three and a half hours. But in Plaza Midwood, you can actually find Victorian homes. And I think that's super cool because I studied architecture. And so I love seeing different types of homes, especially something like this where you don't typically see it anymore. It is just stunning. Beautiful, beautiful beautiful home so you can't find Victorians here who knew so I mentioned before that this area is super super walkable and behind me you can see that some of the houses are higher up as I walked before they were a little lower to the ground um, that's pretty typical in North Carolina the topography changes it goes up and down a lot so uh, some of these are on a hill and you have to climb the stairs and some of them are right on the ground but we're getting ready to head to a local supermarket well not so local it's a uh, a chain but let's see how long it takes us to get there so i'm just about a minute away i'm gonna run into this harris teeter it's been about five minutes and this harris teeter is unlike any harris teeter i've actually ever seen before the one by me certainly doesn't look like this this is 1704 Central Ave. This was built originally in 1951. It was the first original supermarket that was put here by W.T. Harris. So he actually started a chain of grocery stores and then did the supermarket here for the first time. And then they tore that down and built in 2013 this mega store. So I'm going to head in here and grab some water. I'll let you know what I think in a few minutes. Needless to say, all this walking combined with this pit stop I decided to make to Harris Teeter is making me hungry. Luckily, Plaza Midwood doesn't disappoint when it comes to food options. Some of the local favorites include Calle Sol, which is Latin cuisine, Supperland, which is a steakhouse, and Giddy Goat, which is a coffee house that serves breakfast. One fun fact about Plaza Midwood is that it's the first area in Charlotte that has applied to become a social district. This means that you'll be able to walk around with alcohol in public on certain streets and certain parks. It hasn't been approved yet, but if it is, it's going to be a game changer for businesses in this area. 
already breweries like Resident Culture and Whiskey Warehouse, which is a restaurant that has a heavy dose of whiskey cocktails, are crowd favorites in this area. Now, for that Harris Teeter, it was beautiful inside and it even had a rooftop area where you get to enjoy your Starbucks al fresco. Now we've come to the end of our tour and it seems pretty fitting that I should end at Veterans Park because I've been here pretty much half of my day and I've already witnessed two acts of kindness. So not only is this area trendy, eclectic, and a whole lot of fun, there's also really sweet people here. See you next time. I'm Yadi Karina Jones. If you need anything regarding Charlotte real estate, please reach out to me using the contact information below. See you next time.